The Knot Live, what's hot in the world of weddings. Sponsored by Macy's Wedding and Gift Registry. We help you create the happily ever after. Welcome to The Knot Live, straight from our offices here in downtown New York City. I'm Rebecca Dolgen, and we have a great show for you today. This week, we're going to be looking at some beautiful boho gowns. You're going to love them. Then we're going to be talking with a super talented UK wedding designer that's here straight from across the pond just to visit with us and some feel good wedding details. Now, every week Macy's is giving away $1,000, so you need to stay tuned until the end of the show to see who won this week. And all you have to do to enter to win is just to register. It's that simple. And then at the end of the season, which by the way is next week, guys, we are going to be giving away our grand prize, which is a whole free paid for honeymoon from now resorts and spa. So we're going to kick things off this week with a really fun poll. And the question this week is, are you inviting your coworkers to your wedding? A, of course, don't I have to? Or B, only the ones I'm friends with outside of work? Or C, no way, I like to keep my work and personal lives separate? Let us know what you think. We're going to be tallying up the results during the show. And then at the end of the show, we're going to reveal the results. Now, as I mentioned before, we are so lucky this week to have a very special guest here with us. He's one of our very, very favorite planners. We see him about twice a year at New York Fashion Week, and we're thrilled that he's going to be here with us today. Please join me in welcoming Mark Nymerko. Hi, Mark. Hi, How, are How are you? you? This is fantastic to have you oh, here today. Thank you for thank having you. me. Very excited. So, Mark just flew in, so uh, <laughs> he doesn't seem a bit tired, so yeah, right. we'll, you'll be on today. <laughs> for sure. Um, so, I had a couple questions for you. One, I just wanted to kick off your advice to brides, just in general. What is yeah. your number one piece of advice? Well, I think the first piece of advice is really to have lots of fun. Um, this is a, a period of our, uh, our life they'll never have again. Right. You know, and engage, you, you're engaged. Don't get stressed. Right. You Easier know, said than done, though. For sure. Well, <laughs> just have a wedding planner, right? Right. Um, exactly. To, to that takes care of it. Eradicate that. But I also think a kind of new trend, if you like, and a big piece of advice is that brides are loving spoiling their guests. So rather than That's going nice crazy idea. on on the budget of flowers, they're going crazy on gifting, right, or looking the food, after, yeah. The well, also looking after uh, guest accommodation. You know, putting guests up in suites. Wow. We've even got this great example at the minute where a bride um, wants her invitations to go out in something totally different. Nice. They kind of had to have a practical luxury element right. to it. So we're having Smyson. Um, portfolios made, leather oh notebook portfolios, gosh, which I have the unbelievable. which I have the invitation inside. But then, of course, the guests can reuse them as um, folders and uh, notebooks what in future. What a nice little so, extra! Yeah. It's like the favor before the wedding. Exactly, it's fantastic. For sure. I love it. Yeah. So, are there any things? Just you know, kind of fill us in on what's happening over there in the UK. Yeah. Are there any trends or traditions from American brides sure. that you're seeing and noticing, kind of being intertwined into well, UK weddings? For sure. I think America influences pretty much not just the UK, the world. Um, so in relation to weddings, we're seeing a lot more the rehearsal dinner is kind of a standard thing in the UK now. It never used to oh, be. Really? Um, so that's definitely been influenced that's by so yourselves. Um, even the um, arrival of the bride uh, at the ceremony. Um, traditionally in the UK, she used to walk first and the bridesmaids would walk behind. But now we're seeing a lot more brides wanting their bridesmaids to walk in oh, front of them, really which I kind of prefer because they're not the main attraction. Yeah, I, so, yeah, you know, I never thought of doing it any other way. For sure, so I can't exactly. Imagine, you know, can't picture what um, I would like. And then I guess there's also influences um, in the, the other, other way, way around. around. Yeah, yes. I mean, obviously the royal wedding was a big event like oh, a year ago huge, now. Huge, huge um, influencer. And I think it's influenced a lot of designers from the lace aspect. We're seeing a lot more lace. Yes, absolutely. Um, and the kids at the wedding, I feel like sure. that was such an amazing God, part of that wedding. They were so cute. Weren't the little toy soldiers. Um, oh. And lots of other little things like the groom's cake has taken on because Prince uh, yes. uh, Prince yeah. William had his own cake. So right. yeah, so lots of little trends like that. Interesting. That it's so nice. That, yeah, that for, it goes for both sure. ways there. So you brought in a little bit of a show and tell with you Definitely. here today. We have an, it's an exclusive even. I oh think, wow, that's fantastic. So, yeah. I can't wait to see these pictures. I think we're going to roll some photos up here. Okay, so this wow, um, was so a wedding that we video. did literally about a month ago in Oxford, uh, which is about an hour from London. It's the Bodleian Library at the Divinity Schools. Harry Potter's actually uh, filmed in that building. Oh, um, wow. So, yeah, so it's an amazing space. But we kept it very contemporary, you know, because we kept it quite simple. Yes. Um, with the ghost chairs for the aisle. And so, yeah, really space. You really transformed space. that, I mean. Yeah, like, absolutely. And the flowers there, that's at the actual signing table. So the, the couple signed the um, registrar on that table, which was 
something a little bit different. Oh, but really yeah, beautiful yeah. and very elegant amazing. and very timeless. I love that. That's such and the a stocks great space. Uh, in the, the flower arrangement smell amazing as soon as you enter the uh, room. And that so, sort yeah. of sensory. It's not just For about sure. what you see. Which so is this nice. was the reception of that wedding, which Ooh, is wow. totally different. Now this is actually a really drab, ugly space. Normally, it's. Um, the exam schools of Oxford. So all the students of Oxford University sit their exams in this room. What an interesting I know. choice um, to have your Well, reception. we needed a big space within Oxford that could accommodate the numbers, accommodate the entertainment and everything else. So this was a space that I found that worked really well. How many guests were at that moment? Um It was only about 200, but we had extra entertainment okay. and we had back of house to think about. Got it, got it. All those kind of practical sides right. you don't necessarily want to know about. Exactly. But yes, yeah, so we really transformed the space. We had white orchids. Very elegant was the kind of theme. And this cake was definitely inspired by the royal wedding. You can kind of see wow, Kate yes. and William's um, elements there. Completely. And then a great fun part is the dancing. I always think it's rather boring to have walk into a ballroom and you see the dance hall and the stage. I love that there was a reveal with this wedding. So curtains went back and there was a totally different contrasting look, which was purples and blacks. Quite sexy this is and fun. All still the same, the same space. wedding. So they started off in that really elegant. Um, ceremony. They went right. to a really beautiful uh, reception, and then to a kind of dancing nightclub. Looks unbelievable. That yeah. is a wedding I want to be invited to. Definitely, it was good fun. Fantastic, fantastic. So, okay. and then here we have another church ceremony, which oh, was um, in Berkshire, way. a countryside, just a, again a couple of hours outside of London. And everyone always thinks whites with the ceremony. So we went totally the opposite with this wedding, and went very colourful. Lots nice. of hydrangeas, lots of pinks, yeah. blues, purples. Um, and the inspiration for that was very much so the mold. There was a mulberry campaign a few oh, years okay. uh, ad yes. uh, um, advertisement that I saw in a magazine. I was like, this is great. It's very kind of rustic you can just English find country. Inspiration yeah, anywhere. Yeah, for it's sure. Amazing. So. Um, but in, here you see the inside of the church. The vicar was rather excited with all of this. I don't think he'd ever seen anything like it before. Yeah, so, um, it's yeah, we went to town with this. And it's just a very different look rather than the kind of traditional so white. Kept all of, all, the flowers were all hydrangeas, so you yeah, had that kept, kind of uniting well, it. Well, there were the stocks down the, as the pew ends, okay. which added to the scent, because stocks always sound, smell so right, amazing. Right. So, and then this was the reception of that wedding. There you have the escort card table, nice. um, which is always good fun because that's kind of a fun way of people to find our places yes, and exactly. a talking point at the drinks reception. Then the horse and carriage, which is very oh English goodness. and very uh, yeah. traditional. Then this was um, the dining tables. We did his and her napkin um, rings. Oh, and what was the difference between? I can't remember the exact. I think there was lavender on the ladies and just a rose on the gentlemen. Nice. Which is quite different and fun. I love that. Um, this was actually at Cliveden House, which is in Berkshire, very uh, famous stately home outside of London. So beautiful. very, very beautiful. And you had some crazy entertainment. Not crazy, we did. but over well, the Well, the couple lived in Singapore, although he was Swedish and she was English, but they lived and worked in Singapore for a good amount of time. So the nightclub was very themed with an Asian twist. We even made their monogram slightly Asian inspired. So the guests came My outside God. and there was um, a um, dragon dance and um, Shayla Monks doing a performance. And then one of the Shayla Monks handed them a, a sword, which they then cut with the cake. Fantastic. Um, and then fireworks went off. So, and then we had Bond performing, who are a, a, a violinist group and some other girls and cigar girls. Great fun. But I always think that with a wedding that you should start off kind of very traditional, very elegant, and then it gets louder and more fun. Right, right, right. And colourful as the day goes on. Exactly, really. as so, the yeah. drinks go on too, I think. For right? sure. <laughs> and talking of colour, we love um, dessert. So, you know, we've seen, you know, the cake is always quite a colourful aspect. And we've right. seen dessert tables, which Amy Atlas does amazingly yeah, she well does here. Such great work, right? um, which we're very inspired by over in the UK. But we love the dessert room. So this is a room focused a whole all... room? Yeah, of course. You really elevated the table. <laughs> um, where you can also have like espresso martinis. We even, Love like it. at this example at Claridge's in London, we brought in espresso martini girls. We printed um, the dessert menu on a mirror, as you do. Interesting, um, of course. And it's great because if you've kept it quite white and quite traditional, at this element, even if pink and purple isn't your colour or pinks and blues, right, you can go right. to town and have great fun with that aspect. But um, I think the key to remember is with the food, as these photos show, yes. um, keep it quite small and canopy yes. style. You don't want to do a buffet. Yes, I'm not really a fan. That, that kind of word sense. and me don't get on. Yes. So, <laughs> um, no queuing at weddings. Right, so yeah, I, but so make yes. sure everything's kind of hands, you know, easy to pick up. Yes. And that, you, you know, can. you have around twelve different, six to twelve different canopies that people could. So it's a variety. Right. 
And, um, yeah. But easy to pick up and not exactly. having to wait in that For line. Sure. It kind of goes to what you were saying at the beginning. Like, it's all about really treating your guests, yeah, too. Yeah, definitely. So, incredible. So fun. Thank you so Thank you much, much, Mark. Thank you. For more great ideas, go to thenot.com slash wedding style. It's time for one of my favorite segments. It's Etiquette Q&A. We're ready to tackle the questions that have our naughties buzzing on the boards, and I've got some very opinionated reinforcements here with me. I have Anya, who's recently engaged, and one of our favorite wedding planners from across the pond, Mark. Okay, so let's tackle today's poll first. We asked, are you inviting your coworkers to your wedding? And 71% said, only the ones I'm friends with outside of work. So that's interesting. Yeah. Big yeah. majority there. It's a good sure. rule, I think, yeah, of them. It makes sense. It's yeah. hard. It's a hard question. Definitely. I guess it depends on what you do for a living as well. That's a very good um, point. You know, you don't want like 100 lawyers necessarily. Exactly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Get a little lawyers. bit. No, yeah, no. <laughs> no offense, lawyers. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, I have some tough etiquette questions okay. for the two okay. of you now. For sure. All right. So the first one is, I don't want our wedding pics on any social media. Is it rude to ask our guests to not post them? Mark. Um, I don't think it's rude not to ask, but as long as you outline that at the very beginning. Um, so it's your wedding day, it's up to you. But the overall social media thing, I always think, don't, you know, even like with Twitter and stuff, yeah. don't, if a bride's on Twitter, don't share too much out yes. there with them. Um, no yeah, because then you, you've got to keep an element of surprise for your guests. You know, I actually think it's cool that she's being very direct. She yeah. knows that she doesn't want her guests posting pictures on Facebook. So it's kind of nice to let all of your guests know. Otherwise, they're kind of left like wondering whether it's okay and putting it up maybe a couple sure. there so it's probably just get in trouble. It's, it's more than okay i think to let your guests know not you know no no photos maybe put it in the ceremony program Oh, that's an interesting. That's a good yeah. way to let people know. That may be the time know. when they're trying to upload it to Facebook. Right, exactly. So you want to remind them, don't do it. Exactly. <laughs> good point. Okay, so is it okay to invite people to our engagement party we don't plan on inviting to the wedding? Oh, Anya. Yeah. I don't think so. I, I, you know, and Mark and I were talking about this earlier. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about, well, if it's a tiny little destination wedding and you have all these friends in the city that you live in, fine, maybe. But, uh, no, is in general, like, the, anyone invited to those pre-wedding parties, they should be your close closest friends. They should be the yeah. ones you really, really love. So cut that guest list down and make sure that the people invited are yeah. definitely on your main guest list. Yeah, and if you're feeling pressure to do other events and invite other people, like do a work event or something, you can have kind of a bridal um, shower for yeah. work colleagues right. or something. See, that's the thing Rather sometimes. than kind of sticking to the engagement party, yeah. you know, and you're totally right. Totally agree. Yeah, yeah. That does happen during, you know, like when you got engaged. Yes. Everyone in the office was super excited and probably wanted, you know, let's go out for a drink, let's yeah. do that. Did you think everyone that was going out for a drink is now? Are they on your guest list, yeah. Anya? Well, hold on. I wasn't even invited to that party. Oh, so. you've already offended Hello. someone. No, no. Luckily, I work at the Knot, so no. I didn't assume that everyone was coming to the wedding. I hope no one did. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm putting you really on the spot there. Okay. My grandma is really upset we only registered for our honey Moon. Is this offensive? Um, I think it is not offensive, but you want to make sure you register for traditional yeah. elements as well. Options for all different generations yeah. of uh, guests. Yeah. Very totally. good. I agree with you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks Thank for you. your opinions and getting that out there. And if you have more questions, go to thenot.com, ask Carly.